Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome to Mage Knight. This is a test of my custom Mage Knights. I've made a Dryad and a Necromancer. And I'm getting pretty close to finalizing this. I've been playing it a lot off camera and everything. So you can, if you go to the link, you can see the skills as they are now written out in a, a Google doc that's shared. And I'll be using this, but I'm pretty comfortable with the way, where things are now. Uh, some of them still need a little bit of a tweak. I'm a little bit uh, concerned about uh, the Dryad's movement thing. For example, we'll just see how that goes, this game. But I'm getting pretty close. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a whole game and see how it goes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Shades of Tesla because I'm probably the only Mage Knight player in the world who actually really, really likes Shades of Tesla. And I always play competitive, so I'm going to play cooperative so I can test the cooperative skills. So Shade of Tesla, we'll just do the setup. Remember, this is my old mod, not uh, Tufts mod. I'm actually going to re-release this mod pretty soon in a way that allows you to easily add extra custom content because I'm thinking I might, you know, if if people like these the Dryad and the Necromancer, I might make some might turn them into a whole expansion with some new units and new monsters and stuff. You just have to excuse, there's a little bit of a noise around the place because there's people doing some work outside. So hopefully that's not gonna be too distracting. Okay, so this is a fully open scenario. We're playing two players, we're playing cooperative. So there's a few things we need to do. We need seven base tiles and exactly three of them have to contain a magical glade. So that means we have four base tiles. We have core city tiles, we need the red and the green and one other. So there's one city tile being added and we need two non-core, uh, two core tiles, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to the pool of countryside tiles and there should be six uh, glades in here. So we only want to get a couple of them. So it's three, four, Six. So there's six with glades. Now we only need three. So I'm going to put them into them all into the shuffler, like so, and give that a shuffle and pull out three. One, two, three. So those three are not going to be used. So I'm just going to stick them up here. And what I'm also going to do is in the countryside, I think I'm going to take out the, uh, I'm going to take out the, the camp. Okay, so we also need the cities. So let's search the city deck. We need the green city and the red city. Put them into the city, uh, the court side shufflers. And that's basically the pool made up. So we have seven country tiles, three city tiles, and two of the core set tiles. So I'm just gonna build that map pool, like so. It shuffles them and creates the pool. I'm just gonna lock that. Bring this thing over and lock that. Now, also, we're playing, we're just gonna, we're not gonna make it too hard on us. Basically the elemental, the elemental faction leaders or whatever get four plus the, uh, is it four plus or is it four? Yeah, twice the number of players plus four. So we have two players, so that's four plus four, which means each of these are set to eight. Okay. Now we are gonna be playing cooperative. So I'm gonna put the competitive skills in here to just use the turn markers and pull out a dummy board. Like so. And now we are ready to rumble. So we have competitive off, we're not gonna have extra units 
And that's about it. So clean up and start the game. Your blammo. And boom. So I'll just come down here, shuffle all these guys. In the lock. I'll also shuffle the faction tokens. Put the these skills in here. Give that a good shuffle. Roll the dice. Now I play ultra friendly dice okay so there's two things that that means one i don't like it's been so long since i've played like i, I played mage knight quite a lot and it's getting to the point where i can't remember what are my rules and what are the official rules but one of the rules i play is that when you're rolling the dice at the start you cannot have non-basic mana equal to or greater than half the dice on the table rounded up so example, we have four dice, we have two non-basics, so they need to be re-rolled. So we can only have one non-basic at the start of the game. There we go. Also, because we're playing friendly mana rules, that means that, it, I mean, it doesn't matter so much because we're playing cooperative and you can, you know, work together. But if you have the choice, like say you're playing a green card, you can't take the gold mana if you're playing a green card. You have to leave the gold mana in there it to, so you're not taking it away from the other player. And also I play uh, stagnant mana rules, which basically means if these are all black, right, I get to re-roll them at the uh, start of the turn. So what that means is the way it works is we're playing two players. Okay, so if ever there is only the amount of players minus one dice left in the pool, you have to, you can re-roll them all. So basically, if all these were black, I could re-roll them all. And if all those were gold during the day, I can re-roll all the ones. And that's just because it's no fun when you don't have you know, the ability to play. So that's uh, a little rule I do as well. Okay, so we're basically set up. All I need now is my random dummy. Why not choose this dummy mage knight? And we are ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do a little bit of maintenance to the mod, I'll speed it up while I'm doing this, just to make it easier to play. Just because of the way the turn orders work, I actually use hot seat when I'm playing solo with multiple hands, just because it keeps it in my head a little easier. So I've just got to set it up so that works. First thing I need to do is just get the dummy player thing set up so it's easier to see. Okay, so I think that's actually all I need to do. I'm just gonna save this. I'm gonna save it as YouTube. And I'm just gonna to go to main menu and start a hot seat game with three players. I'll call this one Necro, white. I'll call this one Dryad, green. And I'll call this one Dummy, blue. Then we load up YouTube and we are ready to play. Now there's only one more thing I need to do and that is determine the starting orders. So the way this works is in this scenario, dummy chooses first, so we'll just shuffle the deck. He gets rethink, so he's probably going to go first. And now I'll just draw the five cards. Oh wait, I've got to do the do this. Okay. got to actually draw the tiles okay well, that's unfortunate we get the both the both the glades right at the beginning so I'm just gonna bring these suckers out now the way this works is that anything in the center tile area 
we have to roll the faction dice because it can be either, because it's contested territory basically. So it can be either Necro or Elementalist. So if I come up here, you can see anything in the center tile we have to roll for, right? Anything on the north is Necro. Anything on the south is the Elementalist. So this one here is a Necro. And this one here is an Elementalist. But also these things change, okay? So the graveyard, that turns into a graveyard and it gets a Necro green and a Necro brown guarding it. This one stays a glade, but it is also guarded. So it gets a Necro, uh, an Elementalist green and an Elementalist brown face up tokens. And we are ready to go. So this is quite a nasty opening hand. Unfortunately, so these things are quite hard to fight at the beginning of the game. So unfortunately, these are kind of out of bounds. Okay, well, let's get in it. What have we got? Uh, Dryad gets to choose first. He's got his big movement card. He's got lots of movement. He's got a bit of attack and he's got a card draw. So he's actually got a pretty good hand here. I think the best place for him to go is... You know what, I think I'll send him into the Elementalist and the Necro into the, him, him into the Necro area and the Necro into the Elementalist. So they're fighting each other's factions. That might be fun. So he's going to come up here. So he basically needs to get to here. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he can kind of do that already in the first turn. That's pretty good. So he doesn't really need anything. So I'm just going to go search for his card. And I think he's going to... I hate Mana Steel because every time... I only ever take Mana Steel if I have a use for it early, like something on the first turn because I hate having... I hate having the dice just missing from the offer, especially when I'm playing low play accounts. Uh, he's going to take great start for two cards. And this bloke here is going to take planning. Uh, that means the turn order looks like this. So will just come down to tools. Let's go to turns. We have custom. Boom and then boom, and then boom. We are ready to rumble. Okay, so that's the setup, and I will see you guys next time.